and today we're going to take a look back at the PK910H from A4 Tech. I basically bought this a year ago so let's find out whether it's still good or not. We're going to take a look back at its specs and functions, check its latest software by the time we're making this video and I'm going to answer the most frequently asked question about this product how to improve your video using this webcam. So if you are interested, stay tuned and watch the video. So according to the package, it says it has a 1080p full HD sensor, high fidelity digital microphone, which is a complete lie. Of course, if you wanted to hear for yourself, please check out the video that we made over here. And it is a plug and play video anti-glare coating which avoids reflection and generates vivid images in perfect color. And it has an intelligent multi-sampling superior low lighting. So this is the software of the BK910H. It's called the IN Magician. And as per usual guys, the same problem last year up until today still exists. And that is you cannot change the resolution of the video and as you can see right now it's stuck in 480p wherein I suggest you use OBS instead to maximize the full potential of this product anyway you got a lot of uh, options over here to like uh, improve your whatever kind of things that you wanted to do in this uh, camera but we're not going to dive into that more uh, details will be given for us to like uh, improve this camera using the OBS instead so let's check it out and in this capture I'm using the OBS studio with the PK910H and as you can see over this capture we are running in a good FPS with my mouth syncing to my voice but if it's not please let me know in the comment section below of course you also have to consider the lighting that's around you wherein I have a good light above me and a light over here which is I will show you in a bit if I turn it off it will look like this yes it's very dark so you have to open that up and if you wanted to add a little spice of course you have to add a little yellow or orange on your side so you can see the difference yep I'm just using this little lamp over here just to brighten up a little part over this face of mine so let me know what you think but uh, let's dive into the settings okay uh, before we dive into the settings I want you to search for C920 OBS setting and you will be given a link over here which is I'll give it the, I'll give this link at the description below you could just uh, download it I suggest that you follow the instructions over here but Mac this is not C920 but it works well trust me anyway uh, just follow all of the settings but I'm going to just uh, put the link down in the description below for you guys to check it out okay as soon as you open OBS you just go into the settings and yep there's a lot of options over here but we're not going to run through all of them because it's going to be a long video but I want to show you the very vital things that you need to uh, check before starting of course you go to the output go into the recording make sure that your encoder is in x264 if you are using uh, Radeon or any AMD graphics card but that depends on your PC if you're using Nvidia of course you're going to use the other Nvidia options and that's just it you just have to copy all of the settings that I have over here and go to the video and of course the base resolution and the output resolution you change it into 1080p if you are recording not streaming okay uh, I just want to be clear with that now if you're going to ask me why am I using 24 FPS only because my DSLR can only achieve 24 FPS so that I could sync my videos here in this webcam with my DSLR anyway and to start another device all you have to do is just to go to the sources right click put add and just uh, choose video capture and choose in accordance to what you have in your PC so uh, as for me I already placed the PK910H over here all I have to do is just to click here this I and 
yes that is the pk 910 h over there in order for you to achieve this kind of fps i want you to go into the properties assuming that you have followed the settings that i've given you down at the link in the description of course uh, you will get the 1080p resolution in 30 fps only and just simply go to the configure video because this is the most important one that you need to know not in the video proc app but in the camera control usually this is placed in negative 2 that's why you're getting that kind of fps there and this is the thing that you need to turn it off all you have to do is just to like put it in negative 4 and apply and then you will get that kind of fps however you must also consider the lighting that's around you of course if you put that in negative 4 you will have a very dark capture so all you have to do is just to put a good lighting a good lighting from like this yep the lights that i have above there and the lighting that i have uh over here at my left and over here at my right side which is this yellow or orange kind of light just to give a little glow on my face so you see uh you need to consider all of these things before capturing a good video in this device so i hope this helped you guys so that's it guys if you found this video interesting and helpful make sure you give us a thumbs up you share it of course if you want some more simply subscribe as well as follow our socials down at the link in the description below thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode